Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Thor Ragnarok, starring Chris Hemsworth, Tom, Tom Hiddleston, Kate Blanchett, Idris Elba, Jeff Goldblum, Tessa Thompson, Carl Urban, Mark Ruffalo, with Anthony Hopkins and Benedict Cumberbatch. Directed by Taika Waititi, forgive me if I said that wrong. Now, I remember seeing this on IMAX, and I remember how incredible it was and how beautiful it was to see on IMAX. So, is it still remaining of if it's going to be a good movie or not? Let's get into this, shall we? Thor, returned by Chris Hemsworth, is chained up by Sergi, or Sergei, you son of a bitch, is what Thor calls him, and tells Thor about Ragnarok, which is the fall of his homeworld, Asgard, and he turns around and around and Thor fights Sir G or Sir G and his hellish demons and defeats them quite pa easily actually. And the immigrant song is playing and Thor calls Heimdall or Heimdall, excuse me, returned by Edris Elba to get him back home and is replaced by Scourge, played by Carl Urban. And Thor meets him for the first time since Vanaheim. And that was a fun opening sequence for me, and I'm just going to say that. Thor comes back to Asgard to see Loki replaced by Tom Hiddleston. Re Why did I say replaced? Returned by Tom Hiddleston. Is a hero and is taking Odin's spot as king. And there's two actors as cameos. I don't know about one of them, but the other one is is cameoed by Matt Damon. Who's portraying Loki and Thor's actor? I'm not sure who that is. And that was a funny cameo. And Odin is revealed as Loki himself. And that was freaking great to see Hiddleston back. Because he has so much charisma in this series. So they look for Odin, returned by Anthony Hopkins, briefly. And come, come across Dr. Stephen Strange, returned by Benedict Cumberbatch, also briefly. And they react the scene from the end of Doctor Strange, but acted differently, and it was reacted very well. Strange sends Thor and Loki to Norway, and or Odin, excuse me, dies, which is very sad. That's when Hela, the goddess of death, first child of Odin, and Thor and Loki's sister, played by Kate Blanchett, in a great costume and makeup job. That's also when Thor loses Mjolnir, his hammer. And Hela goes to Asgard while Thor and Loki go on another planet called Sakaar, belonging to the Grandmaster, played by Welcome Back from Wes Anderson, Jeff Goldblum. And suddenly Thor almost gets captured by some junkers, and but instead gets captured by Valkyrie, played by Tessa Thompson, who I will discuss when I get to Creed later this year, and gets taken to the Grandmaster himself, and I actually like this planet, Sakaar, they never give it a, well yeah they do give it a name and it's beautiful looking in my opinion the warriors three get killed off without sif who is nowhere to be found in this movie which is fine with me because she did nothing for me in those other two thor films thor finds loki and thor becomes a contender of fighting the Grandmaster's champion, and we meet Korg and Meek, or Cheek, or whatever his his name is, who I really like these characters, and that makes the movie more funny and clever, and it becomes very entertaining, in my opinion. Hela's backstory was explained very well, and I really love that scene when she sees the Infinity Gauntlet. That's, that's a fake because Thanos hasn't found the stones yet. Thus, one had stones in it. And she says, fake. And that was really funny and a great cameo of the Infinity Gauntlet. Wait till two weeks, guys. I'm so excited. The Stan Lee cameo where he cuts Thor's hair was a great Stan Lee cameo. Probably the most hilarious I've seen in all the movies so far, other than The Amazing Spider-Man. Thor goes off to fight the Grandmaster's champion, and as it turns out, it is the Hulk, returned by Mark Ruffalo, who landed on that planet Sakaar after the events of Avengers Age of Ultron, when he takes off at the end of the, that movie. I really like the character back in the ang and Angrier Than Ever, and I love that fight between him and Thor, and he throws 
around Thor like he did to Loki at the end of Avengers 1. It was really hysterical. Hela and Scourge have a little talk and makes him into an executioner. Meanwhile, Heimdall return has a resistance team, which was a neck was a neat scene with all these peoples, and it's amazing that every movie when we get with Disney these days will have a resistance. Star Wars being one, this one being another one. It gets predictable half the time, and I do like how Thor and Heimdall can contact each other like like a hologram from Star Wars, for example. So the Hulk shrinks into puny Bruce Banner, and that shrinking of Banner really freaked me the hell out. But the way he sees Romanoff from Age of Ultron and Thor and Banner hide from the Grandmaster, and meanwhile, Valkyrie makes a piece of offering with Loki while she's beating his ass. Was a good fight scene. I also really like the title of Thor's team, The Revengers, because they're all going to get revenge from Hela except for Dr. Banner, who's never met her before. Thor takes the Grandmaster ship to go to the Devil's Anus, and yes, that's what they call it in the movie. And that's what they say too. And they have a spaceship fight between Thor and Banner and Valkyrie versus the Grandmaster's hench peoples. Which, what a fun spaceship fight. And their ship, and they escape from Sakaar and head to Asgard. Heimdall and his resistance get spotted by Hela, Scourge, and the wolf. And that was a little intense. But luckily they've escaped to go to the Biofrost. Thor shows up against Hela and Hela fights and and they fight and Thor's eye is taken out. And there's a a wolf looking creature that and Bruce turns into the Hulk and fights against the wolf beast and I love the hell out of that fight. And I honestly enjoyed the Hulk fighting any monster in general. We find that uh, Asgard is not a place, and it is the people can be Asgard, which I really like that twist. Scourge switching from a bad guy to good guy, and I really like Carl Urban in this movie, despite if he was good or bad person in this movie. And I'm sad that he dies at the end of this movie. Ragnarok begins when Loki unleashes Sergi or Sergi or I don't know what his name is. And kills off Hela for good, and the Hulk tries to stop Sergi or Sergi, but Thor tells him not to do that was hysterical. Everyone is saved, including Loki, when he steals an Infinity Stone, and Thor wears an eye patch, which is a good look for him as he becomes king and heads to Earth, which will lead the movie two weeks from now. And credits begin to roll, and I love the music of the credits too, by the way, folks. It's just great. The during the credits scene is Thanos coming for his Infinity Stone. And I did like that scene. And the after credits scene when the Grandmaster says it's a tie. I don't honestly get that after credits scene to be honest with you guys. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 9.0 out of 10. This is the best Thor and the best Hulk movie with the Avengers is being first and this being second. I like the comedic timing of these characters, and I really enjoyed the action scenes. It was a lot of fun. Watch this before the next two movies. That I'm, well, maybe not Black Panther, but Infinity War, I must say. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and next week I will be back with Black Panther. And until next time, Avengers Assemble!